Michael Baumgartner, and I'm studying uh, welding and fabrication. I'm Nicholas Castaneda, and right now I am studying electrical. I am Danae. I am in automotive class. Uh, I'm Jake Bork. I'm studying welding and fabrication. I'm Brandon Delsit, and I'm studying um, residential wiring. So I'm Alicio Coronado. I'm a senior at St. Stephen's High School, and I'm in the automotive program. This year, Catawba Valley Community College highlights our promising practice a strong relationship with our high school partners. Relationships are key in all aspects of education. Building relationships with high school educators can offer students early exposure to the fields which spark their interest. We believe meeting each student where they are, both figuratively and literally, will help them reach new horizons. Before high school, I was just like, oh, just like middle school, but just a little bit harder just be normal regular classes and when I found out about the automotive program I signed up for it like instantly it was, it was awesome in my junior year uh, I was very lost in what type of career I wanted and then I started hanging out with one of my friends dads which were which was an electrical person and I just really loved it and so as soon as I saw it it was available for class I decided to sign up yeah, it gives me a reason to be here every day at school, even though we should anyways, and uh, a reason to try my hardest and that nobody's going to critique me, no matter how good or bad I do. CVCC takes three of our skilled trades directly into the high school system. We offer automotive, welding, and electrical programs in a total of five local high schools, and enrollment continues to skyrocket. During the 2022-2023 school year, we taught more career and college promise high school students in these three areas than ever before. Automotive enrollment for career and college promise increased from 74 to 122 seats, demonstrating a 65% growth. Welding enrollment also increased from 364 to 593 seats, demonstrating a 63% growth. And finally, Electrical debuted in the high schools with a bang, capping out at 146 seats in its first year. Especially in high school, a lot of people are lost and they don't, they're not sure what they're going to do after high school. And I feel like it opens a lot of doors for people. You get to learn a lot of things and it's just, it's just different opportunities that you can take. And it'd be great just to have those opportunities just, just in case or if that's what people wanted to do, that's great to be able to have such an easy opportunity to do. Being able to work with your hands is really amazing, and the fact that you can actually, well, meld two materials together in a way that it's almost like an art to be able to push two materials together and completely change their form. It's given me a good opportunity to realize that there are many trades in many different fields, and that I can start early by taking the high school and then continue my education through CVCC. I do inspire more females to take courses like this because it's sad to say we don't have many females in courses like this. Like right now, I have two. It's me and this other girl in my class, but I wish females would get more into these hands-on courses. The location of the courses in the high schools evens out transportation disparities and overcomes barriers to equitable, accessible education. By incorporating these courses into the traditional school day, many CTE students can gain an advantage while still engaging in opportunities to pursue athletics or earn supplemental income through after-school employment. CVCC is very proud of the growth in our career and college promise career and technical education areas. We hope through continuing these programs that our students will grow into self-motivated, independent adults.